What is up my guys, this is Cokes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to get that 49 battle win streak really fast in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. As you can see here in one of my streams, I was able to beat the 49th trainer, which is a second battle with Palmer in the game. Let's go, bitch! Let's go! Yeah. Now I am both a competitive Pokemon trainer and a Pokemon shiny hunter, but I'm also a Facebook streamer and a YouTube content creator. So if you have time, please do check out my Facebook streams and subscribe to my channel. That would be a really, really big help and I would really appreciate it. Now, on to the video. Let's start off by setting up our teams. Now what I have here are Pokemon who have really high attack and speed. Since the tanky ones in the battle tower do not usually have their status moves, which could cause more troubles in your streaks. Now I do have a Jolly Gyarados with a max stat and speed with the movesets Waterfall, Earthquake, Crunch, and Dragon Dance. Now I do recommend starting off with your Gyarados and giving it a Lumberry since many Pokemon and the early battles apply Stun Spore or any status condition moves which will be wasted and that gives you a huge advantage already very early in the battle. Now I also have a Jolly Garchomp with max attack and speed with the movesets Sword Stance, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. Now just give it a Life Orb so you can get the 1.3 attack boost you know, which is pretty standard in most Garchumps. Then, we have our most important Pokemon in the team. This is one of the best Pokemon in 1v1 situations and will come in clutch with most of your matches in the game. A Cloyster. Yes, a freaking clam. But this is not just any Cloyster. This is a Jolly Skill Link Cloyster with max attack and speed with the movesets Shell Smash, Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, and Ice Shard. With the ability skilling, all of its multi-strike moves will reach a maximum, which is at 5 attack. So having a base attack stat of 25 will actually result in a 125 base attack stat. Powered by Shell Smash's attack and speed boost, this Cloyster's Icicle Spear and Rock Blast will actually result in a 250 base power and will outspeed all the Pokemon having a boosted speed at 140. Just by smashing its shell, it could actually result into an apocalypse here in the battle tower. <gasps> now how do you get this cloister in the game? Well it's pretty easy, but you need a little bit of luck. First of all, you can get a shelter in Route 205 with a super rod. If you don't have a super rod yet, just go to the resort area and talk to the fisherman right above the Pokemon Center. That guy will give you a super rod. Make sure though that your shelter is a female so that the offspring of the Pokemon is also a shelter. Yes, this Pokemon will be a mommy. Now all you need is a Pokemon to pass Rock Blast to a shelter since shelter as a base Pokemon cannot learn Rock Blast. Therefore, you'll need either an Omanyte or an Anorith which requires a Helix Fossil or a Claw Fossil. In order to get these fossils though, you'll need some luck in the underground as you can only obtain them through digging. Please take note though that Helix Fossils and Claw Fossils are more common in Brilliant Diamond, but you'll still eventually be able to get them in either games. Now once you get one of the fossils, head to the museum in Orberg City and voila, you have yourself a daddy. For this specific Pokemon right here, once it reaches level 45, it can learn Rock Blast and you're ready to breed it with your Shelter. Now, with some breeding grinding, eventually you will end up with a 5 to 6 IV Shelter with the Rock Blast at your disposal. Now, for the remaining moves, you'll need to level up your Shelter to level 8 and 44 so that you can teach it Ice Shard and Shell Smash, respectively. Then once you have all those moves, give it a Water Stone to evolve it to a Cloyster and teach it Icicle Spear through a Heart Scale. Once you have disposable Heart Scales, you can actually give 3 Heart Scales to a Cloyster which will give you Ice Shard, Shell Smash, and Icicle Spear. Now once your Cloyster moveset is complete, you'll need to apply some EV training in Attack and Speed so you can get most of the Pokemon. Once your EV training is done, your Cloyster is ready to freaking demolish anyone in its path. Now hear me out on this, it took me one stream and one try to get that 49 win streak. I believe one of the challenges in this run was the Starmie at battle 40, since the Starmie could outspeed Gyarados and Garchomp pretty easily. 
and it could just sweep my whole team because this starfish has a freaking thunderbolt and ice beam but either way cloister came in clutch and demolished this freaking starfish i was able to breeze through the battles and challenge palmer which was an easy battle and i didn't even need to take out of my clam to finish this run so there you have it my guys please let me know in the comments below if you have tried this or if you have a different Pokemon in your team, please do share them as we want to spread more strategies, more Pokemon, more wins for everybody. So please do share them as we want to help each other out, you know, farm those BPs, get those competitive items, and eventually we'll see each other in the online competitive world of Pokemon. So thank you for watching. Peace.